yeah dear students in the earlier video we discussed about the duration of day in winter and summer which means in the day of month uh, december month duration and may month day duration we found in that last video now we are going to discuss the fourth activity which is does the sun rise exactly in the east in all the seasons so here i wrote already does the sun rise exactly in the east in all the seasons so in all the seasons sun rises exactly in the east or not that is we are going to find in this video so for that what is given in our textbook that is i am going to explain in detail so students already i said to you you keep your textbook with you and you have to write some of the answers which are essential for your questions which are given in our textbook so here we know very well about it in this chapter which chapter playing with the magnets we learnt about magnetic compass so in the chapter playing with magnets we learnt about the magnetic compass we know about the magnetic compass so which is we are using to know the direction of a place how to make magnetic compass also we learnt there so if there is a magnetic compass you have to find the direction of your house why here we are going to do the activity with that we will know the exactly in the east the sun rises are not in all the seasons so that's what this helps us to find north south direction so generally magnetic compass shows north and south direction if you know the north and south direction then you will know the east and west also because take a magnetic compass find north and south direction with the help of the magnetic compass then what we know that the east and west direction is exactly perpendicular to the north and south north and south so let me draw this one so here we are going to take one of the magnetic compass if you see the structure of magnetic compass it is round in shape okay here onwards we will find like this okay the other portion we will find like this the red color which is given here it is north the opposite side is called south i will explain when one segment so here like this we are going to know the red color is north and the opposite color that is south with the help of magnetic compass we are going to know north and south direction so then we will know the east and west which is perpendicular to the north and south what is perpendicular exactly 90 degrees exactly 90 degrees so that's what what happened here we are going to know here it is the east and it is the west perpendicular so now we know the direction so for example for example if we stand in front of facing toward to the sun so it is east back side is west okay east west then according to here what is given east west so then our right is north or left is south okay like this we are going to know the directions north and south direction so here we will find north south directions with the help of the compass and we are going to know the sun rises exactly in the east or not with the help of this magnetic compass so don't forget south and north south and north 
so east west north south so don't forget don't confuse east west north south so these four directions we will know this is east and west exactly perpendicular to the north and south north and south we known with the help of the magnetic compass so now <clears throat> what we are doing mark east west direction with the help of magnetic compass and compare it with the direction in which the sun rises during in winter season during in winter season so you have to use this magnetic compass in your house so simply what we are going to do here sun rises is there so according to east west north south east west north south we are going to know this one we are going to know this one so what happened here in the month of june or in the month of july or in the month of august september like that you have to observe so in the december month you are going to find the direction of the direction of sun rises so it is somewhat slightly toward to the south that is we are going to observe so here it rises so south side it is little slight to the south but in the month of may if you observe sun rises exactly in the east direction i think it is clear to you so north south north south so that's what that's what remember for our right side is south for our left side is north our front side is east back side is west so this is we are going to know which means by doing this activity what we are going to know here the sun rises in the east it is a common word but exactly it will not rise in the east according to season that we are going to know what is given in our textbook that i am going to read and explain but these pictures helps us in the month of december sun rises somewhat uh, slight to means little side to the south but in the month of may so remember here it is december it is may so you know that in the may month exactly east direction with the help of compass we found here it is east and here but the sun rises somewhat slight so for that in our textbook pictures also given there that we are going to discuss with the example so what is given here once i am going to read and that picture helps to you to find out so finally i will tell what is the conclusion of this activity see make mark what mark here we want to make mark east west direction with the help of magnetic compass and compare it with the direction in which the sun rises during in winter so i marked here sun rises here it is somewhat a side means to go to the south so i marked here this is a month of december this is a month of december then observe the direction of sun rise the three or four times in winter and in summer compare it with exact east direction marked with the help of the compass so i observed in the may month i observed in the december month so when i compared exact with the mark of the compass so sun rises somewhat slight sideward to the south in the december but in the month of may it is exactly in the east direction by using this compass i found it so that is we are going to know in this activity then do you find any change in direction of sunrise between the winter and summer yes i found here so in winter it is not exactly rises in the east it is toward to the little side south little south of the okay south side we are going to find next what we are going to do 
discuss here what difference do you do we notice that only we found sun is not rising exactly in the east in the month of december sun doesn't rise exactly in all seasons in the east to try sorry try to find the direction in which the sun rises even if it is not winter at the time of reading the chapter so means we are in which season we are reading we are going to discuss it is in the december month or january month or february or april or march whatever it is when we are reading this chapter we have to find the direction of the sun rises then we can compare that with the other months and we will know the little changes in the sun rises whether there is a change or not we are going to know no doubt there is a change that already we found with this the pictures now one more question is did the sun rise exactly in the east no sun didn't rise exactly in the east what happened in that month of december it is to go to the south little side of the south so that's what it is not exactly in the east what happened in the month of may it is exactly in the east direction how did we know with the help of compass we found sun rises exactly in the east in the month of may but in the month of december it is somewhat side of the south little side to go to the south so next one example which is given in our textbook observing the changes in shadow during winter and summer season so by using the shadows we will find by using the shadows what uh, the pictures are which which are given here that i am going to read and i am going to show to you along with the pictures so what is given here teja likes photograph photographs very much who likes here teja likes his father took photos in the month of december and may are given below for a and for b as a figures for a what is and for b what is given there that is so i am going to draw these pictures just you observe here this is a december month photo teja uh, stood so at the door this is the door okay here in the month of may who stood here teja these are the two pictures we found these are the two pictures we found listen so this is a december month photograph and this is the april month photograph so when he observed here this is the shadow this is the shadow so when we observed in the month of may you will find like this you will find like this so that black colors are shadows and red colors are the tejas photographs these are the examples so these pictures are given in our textbook once you check that then what is given there here here sunlight okay it is east it is west it is north it is south east west north south so same thing east west north so here sunlight here sunlight so you are going to find the variations in that you are going to find the variations in that see i think when i was here i you are you are not getting the proper voice i think now you can see that the sun is here 
the teja is here the shadow somewhat side means the sun is not exactly in the east direction in the month of december but here in the month of may the sun is exactly in the east direction so that's what shadow fall on back of the teja so here somewhat slight so because it is to go to the south the sun rises to go to the little side of the south so that's what the shadow it is not exact in the west direction so that we are going to know in this now what is given that i am going to give you so once you see 4a and 4b two pictures are there two figures are there in 4a shadow shows the shadows of boy standing on the doorsteps of an east facing house that is east facing house so he, he stood in front of the uh, door and it is east facing so when he took in the month of december so what happened there the shadow which is is back that we are going to observe clearly where it falls this is on a day in the month of december the four year so this is a four year so little side is there next 4b shows the shadow formed at the time of sunrise on a day in the month of may so it is in the month of may so here it is exactly means exactly east west direction is there but here it is not exactly in the east west direction when you see the picture i think you understood what differences do you notice in the length of in the length and direction of two shadows so here the length is very short and the length is here longer actually it is short and it is longer but in this picture it is not appearing like that so why because it is somewhat side it is exactly back side so that's what shadow size decreases shadow size decreases sometimes maybe it is uh, only little changes we are going to find because the time is same if it is uh, noon it will fall on us then the shadow size decreases morning the shadow size but we we are going to find some side boards so that is one more factor here what is the question what differences do you notice in the length and direction of two shadows so length may be equal or little change are there but the directions are not equal that we are going to find next question what does it says about the change in the direction of sunrise in december and may so when we see this picture in the month of december sunlight is somewhat to go to the south but when we see the sun rises here also sun rises here also sun rises in the month of may it is exactly in the east direction but in the month of december it is somewhat side to go to the south so that is we are going to find so that's what the shadow back side here shadow the somewhat side opposite side so that we are going to find so what is the conclusion here that is we are going to discuss now you may also ask some elders about the change in the direction of the sun rays coming through the window or doors facing east during in winter and summer so whatever the houses which are toward to the means facing toward to the east the sunlight will fall into that uh, house through the windows or doors so at that time if you observe the shadows so in may month the shadow will be straight in december month the shadows are somewhat side so that is we are going to find you you can also observe shadows formed by the sun rays through the windows and doors in your house or in the neighbor's house so you can also check that whether the, these are straight or somewhat side that in the month of december and may that we can find with the uh, with our house or other house which are
facing to go to the east we can experience it so that's what we can observe it you will notice that now the conclusion what is the conclusion you will notice that the sun does not exactly rise in the east so you underline the word we are going to know the sun does not rise exactly in the east in all seasons in our state around 20th december the direction of sun the direction of sunrise is a little south of east south so it is south it is east little south of east when it uh, it is in the month of december and on the 20th and the 20th and around 15th may the direction of sunrise is very close to the east so december 20th to may 15th it is toward to the south may 15 onwards it is toward to the south i'm sorry east so december 28th onwards it is toward to the south may 15th onwards it is toward to the east so means it is going to exactly come in the east direction so there is a variation is there right now you get i think what is the conclusion of this so what you have to underline you will notice that the sun does not exactly rise in the east that you found up to now whatever we discuss because of this we find that the shadows of a boy is right behind him in may and shifts toward his left in the month of december so it is left to him because he is facing to water it is right to him because he is facing so right here and left there in the month of december left in the month of may right so because the moments the sun rises moments toward to the south toward to the east in the december toward to the south in the may toward to the east so that we will find here that already we found that is a conclusion of this activity <clears throat> did you understand i think you understood here if there is any doubt you can ask me what is the final conclusion means the sun will not rises in the east exactly why because when we done this activity we have to stand up to go to the east so first we have to use the compass and we want to find the direction of our house our neighbor's house which is toward to the east then we will know that when we are facing toward to the east our right is south our left is north our back is west so then in the december month we want to observe the sun rises so that is toward to the south so that's what our shadow falls left to us back side then in the month of may if you observe so it is to go to the east means sun rises to go to the east our shadow falls right of us so that is a conclusion so whatever the questions which are given i think you are able to understand and you are able to give the answers so in all seasons sun rises uh, does not rise exactly in the east that is a conclusion so one more paragraph also is there this is a slight change in the direction of four the sunrise is one of the reason for changing in seasons so uh, seasons are changing so that's all changes in seasons we will learn about the exact reason for changes in higher classes so why these changes occur means uh, rotation revolution already we learnt in social so the, due to that seasons are going to change so due to the seasons the day duration and night duration also going to change due to that we are going to know the sun is not going to means the sun doesn't rise exactly in the east so this is the conclusion of this in the two changes discuss above we notice that for every change there are 
indicators to confirm that change has taken place and there is a cause of the changes. So up to now whatever we discuss in the two changes means the two changes discuss above that you have to discuss and you want to notice that we notice that for every change there are indicators to confirm that change so there are indicators so magnetic compass is the indicator to find the direction but with the help of that we are going to know the changes so here how many changes we found two changes in one place one in december one uh, in the december month sunrises and in the month of may sunrises we found there are two changes to know these changes we used indicators with the help of indicators we found the changes so to know every changes there are some indicators by using that we are going to know the changes in our surroundings that is a conclusion so i think so you understood in all the seasons sun is not exactly rises in the east that is a conclusion that we found with the magnetic compass next we are going to discuss one more another activity